bought a Canon Elf 180, 190, or the 310. And you want to do some more in-depth photography, but you can't seem to access the ISO, the shutter speed, any modes, portrait mode, program mode, or any other modes like that. And you click, you click the menu button, you click the other buttons, and you just can't seem to figure it out. So today I'm going to show you how to get manual functions on a Canon Elf. This works for the 180, the 190, the one, or the two something something, and the three something something. And the reason why they have it in this me in this sub menu that I'm going to show you is because the Canon Elf does not have a wheel like a traditional photography camera because the wheel would have added extra thickness, which Canon did not want to sacrifice for the mobility. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so for this instance, I'm going to use my Canon Elf 180. Now, to access the manual controls, you just want to turn this on, and as you can see, you might you may have played with this setting, with the menu buttons, all these, you know. If you haven't, I suggest it, because it really lets you fully customize, you know, little things. But if you want to get to manual controls, like ISO, and things like that, you're going to want to click this middle button at, oh, excuse me. First of all, unclick this auto button. I'm sure yours is on auto, because that's what they all come with. Um, so you're going to want to click this button right here. Um, click it. It will say portrait or program. I forgot what it, what the preset is. Then you're gonna want to click this function button right here in the middle, and which previously did nothing. And then you have your recording modes. Now from here it's pretty self-explanatory. Put it in P to access all the features like white balance. I have mine set to daylight. And then you can have your ISO everything you want. Um, down here you have this and. Uh, you have all your different programs, you know, you can run through these, check it out, tour camera effect, poster effect, long exposure, fireworks, you know, anything you can need. Um, then your perspective, and this is actually where you access the full macro abilities of your camera. So you can take some really nice macros. If you guys want to see more macros, um, I'll leave a link to my photography website and my photography Instagram in the description. Um, and by the way, I shot all of them with this camera. Um, in drive mode, you know, like sports, if you want to shoot sports, recording pixels, and I actually suggest if you're going to do Instagram with this camera, like I do, is to uh, change it from widescreen format to uh, oh my, I'm to change it from widescreen format all the way up to large, which is what all cameras use pretty much. And uh, yeah. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little photography tutorial. And uh, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to check out two more videos right here and here. Check the links in the description for my photography Instagram and my photography website. And check out uh, new videos by subscribing right here and click that little bell icon. See you next time.